All right, let's fire this thing up. apparatus that we use quite frequently here around the show. This is what's called a flow scan meter. And just yesterday, we had Bert Bell along with John Reed, two of my technicians here on the program. We had this baby hooked up to the engine that's in the boat that we're tooling around in in order to get some key data. And let's real quick talk about the boat that we're in, Bert. This is our recently restored 1966 20-foot Bertram Moppy project boat. And Back in 1997, we put in a Volvo Penta 5.0 liter V8 gasoline powered engine along with something that's called the Duo Pro. And the boat is just absolutely phenomenal. But way back then, I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool if we could put in a diesel along with one of these stern drives? But you know what? I'm not a big fan of the black smoke issues that you typically, typically get with diesel. And I'm also not a big fan of the smell of diesel fumes. But recently, when I was in Sweden, I was actually at a plant at Volvo Penta, and they were showing me how diesel engines get manufactured. Well, they were sharing with me a new technology called Common Rail, which is eliminating the black smoke issues as well as the diesel fume issues. And this is just such a sweet little boat, I would love to enhance it by putting in a diesel. And that's what we're going to be covering today here at Shipshake TV. We're going to switch out engines. We're also going to switch out drives. And we're going to be going to Tennessee, and we're going to show you how a new type of drive, or at least the shell of the drive, is being made. It's a composite material. It's very, very cool. But, Bert, let's talk about some key data, all right? We are very concerned with the range of the boat, especially with the price of gas today. We want to see if we can be a little bit more economical, okay? And let's talk about the optimal cruise speed of this boat, because that's the main speed that we're concerned with here. What was our RPM at optimal cruise for the boat? 3,200. And how fast were we going when we were turning the engine 3,200 RPM? 30 miles an hour. 30 miles an hour. And how much fuel were we burning according to the flow scan meter? According to the flow scan, we were burning 8 gallons per hour. Now, if you look down below deck, all right, we have enlarged the fuel cell for this boat. We now have a 77 gallon capacity, okay, for fuel on the boat. So our range, we could travel at that speed for a little over nine hours, and that would give us a range of about 270 miles. Well, after we do this conversion, we're gonna get back out on the water, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison, and we're gonna see if this makes sense or not. But guess what? Before we can get into any of this stuff, shoot, you know the drill by now. You see, we need to work out a little trade-off. We've gotta get all of you to spend the next 30 minutes with us as we're working right here along the beautiful water's edge. And then in exchange, with again the help of a few of my very knowledgeable friends in the marine industry, we're all going to be pooling together in order to do our very best to let you in on a few more ways to make your boat ship shape. Ship shape TV, America's favorite boat improvement show.